Hey guys, welcome back to the Living Waters Farm. This is Billy, and in this video, we're going to be doing a do-it-yourself, turning an IBC tote into a fish tank. Now, I've done other videos uh, in the past, DIYs, and that's when we cut our first one over here. We turned that into an IBC tank, and we did that in this video. But right now, everything's kind of dirty. It's uh, spring here in Pennsylvania. So it's time to do some spring cleaning. And what we're gonna be doing for our particular setup is we're gonna get rid of this pool. And we have got three new IBC tanks, tote tanks to replace them. So in this video, we're gonna DIY how to turn your IBC tank tote into a tank. Now the difference in this video from my other video, uh, the other video when the way I cut it, I lost a lot of capacity. We lost actually, hold on. I'm able to get 190 gallons of water in this tank. And had I cut it properly, I could have got it probably another 100 gallons. So these are, uh, what, 300 gallon totes. And we want to make sure we're able to get at least the 275, if not really close to the full 300 gallons. So as you can see, I've already got this one cut. And the difference is in the last video, we cut out this portion right here and we cut the tote down to this level right here. Well, we lost all this in volume. So cutting it this way, it's basically the same, but we've added increased volume. So we're gonna be doing the same thing for this tank and this one, and then we'll be installing them in the garage in another video. So just real quick, I'll show you how to cut them. It's really, all you do is just take these little cross beams out, which I've already taken this one out. And it, if you take this one out, you could actually slide the toad out and get to it better. But for me, I like to just go ahead and keep it and I will cut around. Here, I'll show you. That's basically it. Now, I've been working with these tools for a long time and please don't follow my examples. You should always have safety glasses, gloves, and whatever the appropriate safety equipment is. With that being said, here we go. So now I've converted that tank into a you know, full capacity 300 gallon tank now that I can continue to raise my fish in. And I'll be plumbing the three of these together uh, using the 55 gallon barrels here as filters. Plus I've got some other filters. It's gonna be overly filtered water, but in it I'm going to be raising my, my, uh, my tilapia in one. I've got my goldfish feeders that I'm breeding for coloration, you know, for, uh, for uh, backyard pond fish and then my koi i'll be raising in one until they're big enough to go out into our koi tank koi pond that we're building out in the back which you'll see all those in further right. videos bye guys it's come out really nice i'm pretty pleased with it so in this video we're going to plumb these together and basically we're going to connect to here all three The 
this is going to come up into my barrel. This will be the first barrel to, to catch the heavies, poops and stuff like that. And then the water will come from this barrel over into this barrel, which this sump will be down in here. The sump is gonna pull my water up into my filter and it'll disperse it into the three tanks. But that's the description before I do it. Now, let me do it. I'll be right back. Bench, little flex coupling here with the clamps straight on to the 90 degree elbow and I'm using two inch PVC uh, schedule 40 here. It connects really nicely to the, the valve here and it worked out really nice on all three. Real nice and solid. All the way down. Got a little bit of flex, so like, you know, if it gets bumped and stepped on, I ain't gotta worry about it breaking easily. So, all right, that's that part. Hi, Zoe, excuse me. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next part. I'll be back. Okay, so I've got it plumbed now. I'm gonna give you a close up for, I got the bottom part plumbed, up, I should say. So I've got it all nice and tight, no leaks. Ah, uh, there may be a little small, a little something I might need to address. At some point, I'm going to be putting a T in here and connecting this, and this will be heading off towards my sump drainage area. That'll be real nice, but for now, I've got all this, and everything's just sitting level, flush. There's the sump pump. So that'll cut off if uh, the water ever gets down to a certain level. I can have that where it cuts off so it doesn't burn up the pump. So and then I'm going to have that hose basically. It's going to run up to this UV stabilizer into my 10,000 liter filter, which will then plumb into this. which is a spray bar and I'll be inserting this inch and a half, it's an inch and a half PVC pipe, inch and a half to a three quarter inch. And I've got the little three quarter inch pipe to add and basically one for each. All right, so let me go ahead and get that top finished plumb and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So I have got this part plumbed now. All right. Where's my sump? It's going into my 10,000 liter filter, into my UV. sanitizer and into my spray bar. So far it's running stable. The water levels are fairly consistent. But uh, what I wanted to show you, hold on, bear with me a second. show you inside these filters so as you already know this water is coming up it's gravity fed through the bottom gravity fed and it comes into here see that little pipe I've got down there everything's coming up out through that which is fine and if 
if I ever wanted to turn this barrel off, all I gotta do is throw a pipe straight down in there that comes up a little higher than the water about here. But so, but here's for this. I want to be able to put A1 media into this without it getting sucked over there. So, let me see. This is a two inch coupling. I drilled out this side with a three quarter inch butterfly drill bit. And that goes on the end of this two inch pipe, which has, hold on, let me see if I can, sorry. There we go, that's a little better. All right. So this is gonna go all the way down in this pipe. See like that, now it's gonna suck the water from the bottom of the barrel. You see what I'm saying? Now all the poop and stuff can come float up. It's gonna end up mixing in with this K1 media. It'll pull the water from the bottom over into the sump barrel and then through the circuit. All right, I just wanted to touch on that part real quick. But uh, yeah, the system seems to be up and running. We got, we got water coming out all. The spigot's there. So the filter water should be coming up through the top. The dirty, poopy water should be coming down. And there's your complete system. So basically, that is it, guys. Now I am gonna be uh, connecting, I'm gonna be putting together a tank here. This is gonna be for the breeding tilapias. This will be for my grow out tilapias. For now I got my koi in here, but this is just for a temporary until, until I can get my koi pond finished out in the backyard. And then I've got some, the feeder goldfish in here. Same thing, those are for the outside pond, but I wanna eventually breed these goldfish, the koi, and I already breathe the tilapia. But uh, here, let me just touch this uh, spray bar real quick. So here, this is a inch and a half PVC. This is all schedule 40 PVC. I've got an end cap here. I used a, uh, oh, what are these called? These little clamps here, like a pipe clamp, hose clamp. This is my T, reduced down. Another clamp holding on, that way my spray bar is up here. Right here in the front, easy to get to, solid. That's what I wanted, I wanted that to be solid. You can't get knocked around. Same thing with this down here. This is really solid, like this whole thing. I could step on it, but I don't wanna do that. Break. It's been one week since I set up this system and everything's looking really good. No leaks. Everything's working as it should. The water was cloudy for a while. It's starting to clear up real nice. You see all the fish. You see all the way to the bottom of the tank. And so I was, I did have the K1 media in here. I don't like it. It don't work for crap. You see. This here tank is working exactly like it's supposed to. I don't know if you can see past the reflection, but let me see. There we go. See the bottom? It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's catching all the heavies. And then everything goes over here. And this is catching a little bit of the heavies as well. But not a lot, and if it if it does catch it, it goes through this 10,000 liter filter, and then through the UV sterilizer, and boom, right back out. Oh, it's perfect. Gravity fed. All the heavy poops are coming along the bottom pipe there and falling into the 
I call it the heavies tank. Catches the heavy solids. So next I'm gonna be hooking up this, this will be part four. I'll be hooking up this drainage here. I'll be putting a T in here. And then I'll be able to sh turn this, I'll put a valve in here that'll shut this off. I have a way of sealing off all that water there. And then I can open this and everything in this tank will just flush right out. I guess all those heavies are gonna go this way towards my sump area. I've got a sump which goes, attaches to the uh, sewage. So yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to do a follow up real quick. One week later, show off how it's doing. It's doing great. The water quality is great. My temperature is doing good. I actually uh, was testing my heater out to see if it worked. I was seeing if it would take it up to 68, which it did. Now I'm trying to bring it back down to 65, which is going to be my desired temperature. It's a nice, healthy balance for my goldfish, my koi, and my tilapia. And uh, part of the reason why I went ahead and dropping that temperature is my koi are starting to get frisky down there, and I'm not really ready for them to start breeding just yet. I've got to do a couple more little uh, tweaks to the system, but if they were to spawn any babies, uh, you know, most likely they're going to end up in this heavies tank and I'll be able to see them and catch them out of here and uh, put them in an appropriate tank but that's it for this video guys thank you for watching uh, stay tuned for the next one if you haven't already make sure you subscribe hit the like button all that stuff helps algorithms blah 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 help me get paid guys we'll see you in the next video peace out